First class. X-Men. First class. First class. The first class of all of the, the classes. Class. Um, yes. I actually really like this movie. I think it's like really enjoyable. This is the tone that X-Men 1 should have been. Yes, for sure. It, yeah. It was dark in its own way, you know, like a lot of the Magneto stuff, obviously. Yeah. But not so much... Uh, like, I know we talked about X-Men almost was very... I don't even know the word. The, different toned. Like, it, um. it didn't... I, 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 I'm so good at words. Like, it was dark, but it was light, and it... it there it was they, hard it yeah. was a hard balance yeah they didn't... and i felt like I think... this one was definitely a lot more consistent smooth yeah yeah the um yeah i've liked all the characters other than jennifer lawrence i thought she did a really bad job in this oh really i don't have a i don't have a problem with jennifer lawrence in this she... but also it's well documented that you hate jennifer lawrence things <laughs> um she, I mean, so she doesn't quite fit with the the movie to me. No, I think she did a fine job. I think it's not so much her ability. I think she's a fine actress, but I, I, this feels more like direction, where she's supposed to be kind of aloof, not really mm-hmm. aware of what's happening. You know, like. Like when everyone shows up and she's like, "Oh no, you're Magneto and you're Professor X," and like everything's on fire and falling apart, and they're like really upset with them. Oh, I did not like that. Yeah, and it was just like she had no awareness of what was going around her, and so anytime she talked or was on screen, she seemed. Um, she she it, still seemed like a kid compared yeah. to Professor X, even though they well, should relatively be the same age. Yeah. And so that's that was kind of my point was I think it was more how she was directed to act than her acting ability. Yeah. But every time she talked, I was like, oh, this is there let's get past there this. There was a cup there was a couple lines or little scenes that, that I didn't like because uh. it felt just dumb. That one and I uh, I really <coughs> You're, I have okay. a kid. I'm I'm so upset by this. I <laughs> I have some complaints in superhero movies. Yes. And I know we talked about, like, I don't like the one where people, like, put their fingers to their temple, like, to use their powers. I, I think it's stupid. I also don't like when characters, like, in. How do you focus your brain power when you're thinking about something? I told you. I, I you told you. I cross my arms. <laughs> I, I, yes, I, that's what it is, is, is pushing it back in to yeah. contain it. Yeah. I don't like when, when characters start having a regular name and then transition into having like their superhero name. Yeah. It just feels weird to me. Like, like X Men, they all have their names, right? They're established as these characters, and it doesn't bother me. But in this one, I don't like when people are being named something. It feels so stupid. Yeah. I don't. Well, I mean, you know, those those are all actual characters, right? No, I know, okay. but but for the sake of this movie, these characters are being created, yeah, and they're being named like in so, the movie. You know, what should have happened was the government done that, giving them like code names. Yeah, there should have been one or, scene with the guy uh, who he was he uh, Professor Octavia, was he Doc Ock? What? The guy who is a government agent. Oh, no. You, okay, you're talking about, uh, I think, uh, Again, it's it two Oliver Platt. Two different people mixed. It what? is two different guys. That's, yeah. There no, have, it's not Doc Ock. There should have Trust been me. a scene of him giving them code names. Yeah, that would have been better. You know what I mean? Like, because it was, Jennifer Lawrence was like, oh, we need code names. And then they started naming themselves. And it feels so it, dumb. I just don't no, like it. There was no workshopping it. You know what I mean? Like, Yeah, it, it was just like, hey, first word that pops in your head, that's your new name. <laughs> Forever. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be Mystique. Like, 
that's fine. Like, that's not a bad name. Uh -huh. But where do you get that in relation to your ability? I f it, it doesn't... It's, it's a third-party name. You know what I mean? Like, it's a, someone outside of you gave it to you. These are not yes. names, like... Similar with Beast, right? He was named by uh, Alex or um, Havoc. Yeah. You know, like, that, that adds up, right? And then uh, they also earned that throughout the movie where he's like giving them nicknames making fun of them and stuff but everything else was just like oh, i'm i don't yeah i don't like how she just gave professor x the name professor x because it was already established that he's not really a professor because he hadn't been teaching anything he made that comment earlier in the movie so like it just felt dumb yeah like if, if anything give him that name after he's like teaching you know yeah he doesn't need a name right now <laughs> i, uh, I no, but the worst part about it ooh, all of it was ooh. i okay i get a lot of these these guys they're kids right that's a, or they're young that's maybe that to them that seems like a cool thing xavier and um uh and eric you know magneto they're they're older they're like the group leaders I don't like at the very end of the movie. I'm gonna. I know I'm jumping to the Oof. end when he goes and Boy, he breaks Lord. out. He breaks out uh, January Jones. Yes, and she like says his name. He's like, no. I thought it was September Susan Magneto. Yes, yeah, September <laughs> Susan. Uh, call me Magneto. I felt so stupid. I hate it. Yeah, no, that those are really the only two things that really bother me. But that's because but it, and it, Mystique was with him. And influenced him. Maybe, like, and, and I'm not saying it's. Saying, I don't like how this Magneto. movie did it. Yeah, I just don't like Magneto. movies who do it in general. It just feels dumb. I don't think you can hear me say that. Kid. Wrong mics. No, me up. <laughs> I'm just over You're here just... whispering, Magneto. <laughs> no, I can definitely hear you. You're quite loud. <laughs> I'm just trying to get my point across. <laughs> well, because I have two mics, one for Twitch. Magneto. <laughs> Magneto. <laughs> <laughs> and one for the podcast specifically. I wasn't sure if you if it's picking it up. Also, Magneto. where does Magneto like? Where do you come up with that name? That just uh, again, it's like magnet it's but with starts, an O. But like Nito, <laughs> you think that's what it is? It's Mag. No, it's not. Nito. It's not Magneto. <laughs> it's Magneto. It's just it's so weird. To come up with like well, that's the first thing that popped in your head. Magneto. I have some problems because I can move mat. I can move metal. Okay, what? what's your problem? So, my understanding of Magneto, he can change the magnetic force around himself to attract or repel metal. Correct. Okay. Uh, I guess. I think. I think that's the idea. He manipulates his own. Um, what is that called? The magnetic force field. No, is that a thing? Am I making that up? It's probably a thing. I don't know if it's <clears> this. <throat> but so, anyways, my point is, I believe he manipulates his own and can either attract or repel metal, which I get fine with that part. Why doesn't he get repelled when he's repelling? Why doesn't he get sucked over to something when he's attracting it? You ever see two, I always, two magnets yeah. snap together? You know, they like he just goes smashing into everything. <laughs> Every time he uses his power, he just slams into it. I see. I always thought his power was he just has the b ability to manipulate metals. I don't think so. I think it has to do with magnetism. I mean, that Your, would make more sense. Uh, magnetism. Yeah, I mean, maybe, I guess. Well, that's why it's Magneto. Still a dumb name. Um, January Jones. Should have been Magnet Man. Everyone should be what their ability is, and then man or woman, it's, or boy or girl. It's like that old uh, Mitch Hedberg joke. I want to work at the uh, Appliance Naming Institute. What does this thing do? It refrigerates food. That's a refrigerator. Refrigerator. I'm going on break. <laughs> Classic. 
Um, January Jones, I don't know much about her actual character in the comics, but I felt like yeah, I diamond skin and telepathy, too many powers. That's a lot of powers. It's a lot of powers. Um, I agree, but they definitely made her look cooler than they did her supposed characters from Origin. Yeah, they're the same, right? That was the idea. They, as far as I'm aware, they are the same person. Um, but she didn't have tele- telepathy. In I don't think so. And she was also way younger, which is another. Yeah, movie. she was like a teenager. Also, something that bothers me now that we're back on the origins, Ooh. she turns her whole body to diamond, which uh, is it's shown to be able to reflect bullets. or deflect bullets. But then she also puts her hands up in front of her, like those are deflecting bullets. Like why? Just you can stand there and it's going to do the same thing. Why are you going to put your hands up? Yeah, That's I mean, stupid. You're probably taking up less surface area by putting your hands over your face. Yeah, if anything, put your arms out yeah. as you know <laughs> additional shielding. Get as much wingspan as you can go. Yeah, that's pretty way. much. Uh, so that's stupid. But anyways, we're not going to get into origins. Mm, let's let's not do that anymore. Um, I I really like uh, Professor X and, and and Magneto's relationship in this movie. Yeah, I think it's great. It shows oh. you know that they they were friends. James McAvoy is uh-huh. a fantastic actor yeah like one of the best and um michael fassbender is also fantastic yeah and their chemistry i think is better than uh patrick stewart and ian McKellen? mckellen 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 i think you they, think so yeah i think so i think they work better I think... together it might be because they're younger and they don't seem so frail like, and they have a lot more screen time. Uh, sh- like, show says like we get that this movie uh-huh. is overrated. First class? I don't know. I think first class is pretty good. I think it's not over nor underrated. It's just rated. It's just rated. Rated correct. Rated PG thirteen. <laughs> um, and like Days of Future Past is better for sure, but it's better yes. than uh the original Most trilogy. Of the other- it's and, better than all of them but Logan. Yeah, all of them but Logan. All of the ones that we've done so, so far. The Wolverine trilogy, yeah. not including Logan, and the original trilogy. Yeah. But it's not like the best movie ever, I'll give you that. But um, No, but for, but for an X-Men movie, it's good. Yeah. I... Wolverine, ooh, that's interesting. Don't think I would agree with that. Joe uh, says no. that he prefers the Wolverine, the one that yeah, takes place in Japan. Over that one's not months. bad. Don't get me wrong, but it's this not, one is way more enjoyable. It's not terrible. It's not like Origins, but I think this has got Slow. a much better structure. And that it's one, a little more more fast paced. That one's like really and, hard to follow. Yeah, it's. I was very confused. Also, this one's got Kevin Bacon. So come on now, Kevin Bacon's also, German accent sounded yeah. like spot on to me. As someone who oh, doesn't I thought he speak was great. German, but maybe when I, I did. Oh, I so, speak but... fluent German <laughs> in my head, and to me, it sounded great. Now, I remember when I when this movie was filming or whatever, and I found out that Kevin Bacon was in it and was going to have like a prominent role. Uh-huh. I was very worried because of the whole. We and we've talked about this with a lot of Marvel movies. You get a, a very well known character, and they just. They it kind of takes you out of the universe. Like it's yeah. hard. I felt that way with like Forrest Whitaker. I think we talked about that. Well, Nicole in, Kidman in, in Aquaman. Get ready for that. Oh, I didn't even know she was in that movie. Oh, it's too much. There's just some people that are too big, and it's not their fault. Like obviously they're a good actor, but they're just too big to be. Well, I think it's when role. their actual personality is so close to their on-screen personality and there's not so you're talking about ant-man yeah paul rudd is a good uh example or chris pratt is another one who yeah it's hard to separate them acting versus them in real life where i thought kevin bacon did a pretty good job at being evil Um, yeah i i 
I, I got to a point where I, I don't see him as Kevin Bacon in the movie, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, he definitely ta- he plays the role very well. Yeah. So, show, and, so over on Twitch, show yeah. it said that Michael Fassbender is great, but he had a problem with uh, Nicholas Beast. Holt being Beast. And I, I agree to a point. I think the makeup in this is terrible. I think Mystique looks awful, and I think Beast looks awful. But I think Nicholas Holt is a better beast than um, Frazier. What's Kelsey it? Grammer. Kelsey Grammer. Like show is very partial to Kelsey Grammer beast. I think uh, like I prefer Nicholas Holt, but I think the makeup looks way worse. Like they they put a like a mask on them, and their foreheads got too big. They were not proportional anymore. They all looked like they had little beady eyes, and they looked yeah. very uncomfortable to look at. Yeah, Mystique, I, I will agree that the, it did seem to have very beady eyes. Yeah, well, Jennifer Lawrence was, that was one of her biggest complaints was the makeup. She didn't want to do these movies because she hated oh, the makeup. Really? And that's yeah. why she's like never blue in the next movies is because she was like. Nah. Well, what did you expect when you took on a role where your character is a different color, though? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if they were intending this to be a one-off or if this was supposed to be a trilogy or not. You don't think so? Um, well, I don't think so compared to how they ended this and how they pick up in the next one. Yeah, that's true. You know, because they like they establish, oh, this is how he got in his wheelchair, and then they start the next movie, and they're like, oh, it would be better if he wasn't in his wheelchair yet. So let's give him magic potion to fix that. You know, and it's just like. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I guess this one definitely could have been its own film, start to finish. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Um, not terrible. I had a point, and I don't remember it. Sorry. Okay, I don't know a lot about Beast in the comics, mm-hmm. but I feel like the two different guys that we see play Beast play those two different roles. Like, I feel like Nicholas Holt is a good scientist, but and Kelsey Grammer is a good politician. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, they don't seem like the same character. I don't know what the, I don't know. Yeah, exactly. I don't know what the beast is like in the comics. If he's more of one or the other or both, I couldn't. I don't. Kelsey Grammer, I couldn't see as a scientist. So I yeah. mean, if that's what they were going for, then I feel like the casting's fine. Yeah. Uh, show says the rebooted X Men movies are basically Jennifer Lawrence movies. Jack's really annoying and not mystique type of a character. Uh, okay, the older series was based on Wolverine, but he on another level. Yeah. I would... I almost think... Jennifer Lawrence... I feel like Jennifer Lawrence was the selling point. But I think yeah. the series, the the first class trilogy, is more about Professor X and Magneto um, than her. I think that that was kind of the issue. They didn't really know who was interesting. And this is when she was really hitting her stardom. I don't know if the word is one of them. She's fresh off the Hunger Games and uh, I think something else. But she is like, this was her year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this came out like in the middle of the last two Hunger Games. I don't remember exactly. I want to say it was between the first and second Hunger Games. Oh, I I, I don't know. I don't recall. Yeah. Um, um, what do you think of the other X Men? So there is Havoc, uh, who okay, is so Scott Summers' older brother, which I thought is that what it is? Yeah. Because I have a real timeline issue with that. Yes. And it's something that I didn't actually ever really consider watching this movie the you know the first time around, but this movie takes place way way before the original trilogy like 50 years well so the first cra- uh, the first class first class first trilogy crap. takes place in the 70s the 80s and the 90s is it the 70s though because yeah. i feel like in the 70s magneto would have been almost 40 Nobody ages. <laughs> they they should have aged way more. But yeah, no. Uh, Michael Fassbender was, is way too young to have been in the Holocaust. 
Exactly. Yeah. Ex yeah. Exactly. I. I but hmm. Patrick Stewart is way too old to be Jason McAvoy, James McAvoy. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Show says Days of Future Past is one of my favorite superhero movies. Top five. I would agree. I think Days of Future yeah. Past is fantastic. I'm gonna have to watch it again. I've only seen it the one time, but I'm. I still hold it in high regard. Yeah. Also, Jennifer Lawrence, right? So if she is, I, I don't. I mean, they should all be the same age, right? She should also be close to her mid thirties to forties in this movie. Yet, sixty years later, she's Rebecca Romaine Stamos. <laughs> but you know, actually, that was, so but that was she... the issue that I had. But they they did point out later in the movie that she ages slower yeah and but they all should i don't know i guess well i mean uh, it's not a big deal they i think they put it in there because mystique is so young in the original trilogy and patrick stewart stewart and ian mckellen are not so they're yeah. like oh we gotta figure out how to make this work yeah it's fine um so as far as the other x-men havoc i i like havoc i guess i don't really like banshee no i don't like his i don't like I, his name i don't like his <laughs> ability the ability i don't like that guy's face <laughs> the ability i don't mind his personality was a bit much it was weird um who else was there? there's angel which was like a weird one. The I didn't like girl. the wings made me uncomfortable. Yeah. They're, they're too fluttery, which I guess is probably how it would be. I didn't, I didn't no care way. for that. There's no way those wings <laughs> would be able to pick her would up. Would support a person. No, there's no way. <laughs> there's not enough surface area. <laughs> they're like really thin. They're like, imagine trying to take a bunch of um, skis and flapping them, seeing how high you can get. <laughs> That's how thick they were. Yeah, it's just I didn't I didn't like her. Yeah. Um, what was the other guy? Uh, Darwin. Darwin, that's his name. Yeah. I guess his was okay. I didn't fully understand it. He just survives, He's... except he doesn't when someone throws fire. No, into his but stomach. he died. Yeah. So, so jokes on him. What did he do? Um, who else was there? And then there was Beast and Mystique, and I guess that's it. Yeah. I feel like there was another girl. Uh, September Susan? Uh, she was like September hero. Smith? No, I guess that's it. February Felicia? Uh, yes. Uh, okay, so I mean, I, I didn't have a problem with really anyone, but I guess Banshee I didn't, or Angel, I didn't like him. Also, you should not be called Angel, you should be called Butterfly or something dumb. She was like a human tramp stamp. <laughs> That's the meanest thing I've ever heard you say about anybody. Not that she is a uh -huh. tramp. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just a tramp Let's, stamp yeah, in mutant form. Uh -huh. Like if if people got to pick their mutant powers, yeah. there would be a humongous group of people just like that. Um, I guarantee it. Like what? Like be her, whatever, stamps? they would be little butterflies with wings. Oh, and they would go by Angel. If you could choose, no way. Yes, absolutely, I uh, guarantee it. No way. If everyone in the world had the opportunity to choose their thing, that's what I guarantee. That would be a well, very big. Group. What is a lot in that case, though? Billion. A billion one out of seven people would choose to be angel you're crazy I, anyone who is willing to get a butterfly tattoo on their lower back would be the same people who choose this mutant power and there are oh. so many of them yes no so way. many of them they're so basic so basic. Uh, i feel like there would be there's way better powers though before that that people would choose there's way better tattoos, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> That's fair. What would you choose if you got to pick any? I mean, I would be one of the ones who picked it. I would be in that group. <laughs> You'd be her? 
I'm, and that's how I know that there was people out there. I'd be Wolverine without the healing fact. Oh, I definitely would be. Are we talking about mutants or superheroes? Like, would you consider Spider Man a mutant? Spider Man? Because um, his ability is biological, like it's in his DNA. It's not like Iron Man. Um, would you consider Captain America a mutant? Like, where's the line between mutants and superheroes that exist yeah. in the same universe? I always got confused by that. Yeah, uh, well, because, like, hmm. Because the, like, the do you, first do you have to be movie, born with it? The first movie, the senator is turned into a mutant with the right. Magneto's powers. Right? Yes. And so. Yeah, so that's fair. Like, it, would Captain America be a mutant or would he be enhanced? Is it because he doesn't. It's not a mutation, Captain America. Right. It's like steroids. So there would be different groups, but then you would have like guys like Abomination and uh, Green Goblin. Yeah, would all be in the enhanced. But then you have guys like Spider Man, Spider -Man yeah. where they are de you know genetically changed. But then you have guys like I don't know Doc Ock, where technically their DNA isn't changed, but it is a part of their body now. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't consider Doc Ock a mutant. I don't know. Let's go. Know. Let's take this to our reporter in the field show. Uh, Spider Man, mutant or not mutant? See if, he, <laughs> see if he's got a definite answer. On definitive, see the not a definite answer. A definitive answer. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Spider Man probably would fall into the class of mutant. But it's also. I wonder if it has to be. Like, do, you, do Although, the mutants. Look at someone like Spider Man. So if we're gonna say differently because they didn't get to choose. I mean, not that he chose. If we're gonna, they were born with the hardship. If we're gonna say that Captain America is not a mutant because he's enhanced, what's the difference between him getting the injection of the super serum uh -huh. and Peter Parker getting the venom? Well, that's what I'm. I I don't know if there's a difference. I'm just saying, like what. What Captain America can do is is everything that a normal human can do just better, right? But Spider Man can do things that humans can't do. They he, he does what a spider can do. Anything a spider can do, he can do. Spin, he it's can in the spin web any size. He catches thieves just like flies. I love how Spider Man has adapted to like fighting like a spider and treating his enemies like they are prey like putting them in web cocoons and so shows hanging from webs show says mutants are born with it spider-man and captain america were not but in the first movie right the, the senator the senator is the only thing that really throws a wrench in that yeah because they <laughs> they speed up the mutation in his dna and turns him into goo man what is he? Fishy gobbledy water boy. <laughs> I don't know. He's. I hated. He's I hated so that. Gross. It made me so uncomfortable. It's so, <laughs> so off putting and disgusting. <clears throat> um, what's the the not night crawler? Azeal? A Azeal? 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 I thought he was a cool character. I liked him being now, a villain. I feel like him and the other dude, they look so. so are they brothers? I don't know if that's established or not, or but I feel like the other guy, um, oh. the guy who could do the tornadoes, uh -huh. I, they look so similar to me. But I feel like I never got to see them together. And I'm pretty sure the first time I watched it, I thought it was the same guy for like half the movie. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think they're brothers. At least that wasn't established. Uh, Joe says, I, I think he's asking who's better, the first or second saber two. And I would say Leaf Shriver. Leaf Shriver. Yeah. How do you explain all the hair growth from Origins to the first movie? He just didn't shave. Uh, who, are, well, who are we talking Saber about? Tooth. So Leaf Shriver is clean cut, got beard. Oh, yeah. But then yeah, he... Sabretooth in the original trilogy is definitely like prehistoric. Yeah, he looks 
like a dumb cape menace. He can't even Which talk. I, He's like, I, when he gets I guess I thing. get it, right? Because saber tooths were prehistoric animals, but that doesn't mean you have to be like that. Well, in you don't the, have to be a Neanderthal. In the original, I think he was more true to the comics than the cartoon. Yeah, but he's a way better character in Origins. He was the best oh, part of sure. Origins. Yeah, um, but Leaf Driver's a good actor. Helps. Oh, I love Leaf Driver. Yeah, he's even good in that terrible um, uh, Australian movie. Australian movie. Yeah, we had to watch it for that punishment. Oh, I'm not remembering that. Hold on. The the nanny. She was crazy. <laughs> oh, oh yeah i forgot about that i forgot he was in that yeah he was the... what was that called that was oh uh, it was like mental or i think it was mental yeah oh i forgot he was in that that was a bad movie that was really bad but he was good no, at he it. Was... yeah <laughs> he was he was the only thing that made me not want to die <laughs> oh speaking of uh my wife went and watched White Christmas with friends over at their house the other day on purpose. Ew. And that came up when she got back. And then I was like, yeah, we got paid to watch that and still hate it. <laughs> well, what did she think about it? She did not like it. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure there's a target demographic I think there. Maybe to be fair, she didn't mind it. She didn't hate it. Yeah. But she was just like... That yeah, wasn't very good. But anyways, back to first class. We're getting getting distracted uh, here. Okay, so I, I think we're talking about the villains, right? I like those guys. I thought they were all great. Um, I do agree. The the January Jones thing kind of seems like she's got two different, completely separate mutant powers in one. Yeah. Which could be the same about Wolverine, though, if you think about it. He's got the healing, and he's also got the claws. Yeah. Independent of each other, but... I don't know. It doesn't stand out as much. Yeah. Well, because it's always been his character. Yeah. His character was that before they needed to explain how and why and what. It, like, I think originally he just had claws. And they're like, oh, mm-hmm. I probably should explain this. Yeah. Um, um, first class is... So, oh, sorry. The, a while ago, I think we were talking about it. Um, about villains and what makes a good villain and i was saying to have a good villain you need to want them to change right you need to feel oh if only he would turn to be a good guy yeah then i would be satisfied right like kylo ren i think uh thanos what's that thanos thanos i think michael fassbender is a great example because, oh, because he shows he shows both sides what yeah. what he can do when he's angry and what he can do when he's doing good. Yeah, because I would say Michael Fassbender, Magneto in this is the best character. He's the most developed, the most interesting. It's probably closest to his movie than anything else. You know, it's like he's the one on the mission the entire time. Yeah. He's the one with a vendetta. He's the one against the antagonist. You know, yep. like. And so your desire is like, you know where he's going. You know how everything's going to end up, right? You know he's going to be Magneto. You know he's going to be the bad guy. But you're like, just don't do that. Just be good. And I will be so happy if you do that. Don't push that coin through Kevin Bacon's oh, head. That was, that's such a good death scene. I, I love that. I love it so much because it, it, it factors in where it, it has that the aspect of what we were talking about Logan, in Logan. Yeah. With all those guys just having to stand there and watch it happen. Well, both not were be able Professor to X's fault. Yeah. Right? Like, Professor X froze him. and But this one, he was more complicit in it. He knew what was happening. But he knew if he I always wondered, like, them, why didn't he stop it? Well, like, if he released them. Wouldn't he... he be hearing Kevin Bacon's thoughts like, oh, please help. <laughs> I can't believe this guy's about to push a coin through my head. Well, like, like I was saying, if he released Kevin Bacon, Kevin Bacon definitely would have killed Magneto, probably killed everyone else. Because he definitely did know what was going on, because he was screaming as the coin was going through his head, and I think he was feeling yeah. it, 
right? He was connected. He was inside so his brain. Do you think he feels pain if he's in someone's head? I think so. I think that was what they are showing you by having the two shots layered, going back and forth. Yeah. I think they're showing like he's experiencing everything, but he's not releasing them to protect Magneto. So you think he let it happen because he saw it as necessary for their safety? I think he he had to decide between his friend dying and his enemy dying. He didn't want either yeah. to die, but he didn't have a choice. Like, but knowing that if his friend killed his enemy, there was no going back. Yeah, so it's like what would be a good example? It's like you have a a like a wild animal trying to kill someone. And you have it trapped, but while you have it trapped, your friend is trying to kill the animal, and you're like, no, 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 don't kill it. But you can't stop it, right? Like, you know, oh, I can't release this. If I release it, it's going to yeah. be way worse. There's going to be way more consequence to that. But you're like, don't do that. That's not cool. That's not fair. I don't want to be a part of this. But you're like trapped in the middle. Yeah. Quite a dilemma for him. Yeah, I thought it was a strong, strong ending. Him getting shot, I thought was good until oh, you know, Days of Future yeah. Past shows up. But uh, I thought he was still okay. Maybe I forgot. Is he not in a wheelchair in that movie? He so, I mean, it's getting a little ahead of it. But in that movie, Nicholas Holt creates a serum that allows him to walk and reverts himself back from beast form, to looking like. Uh, the human. Yeah, it's, I don't. I don't remember that. I remember him just looking like a hippie, and being very angry. Yeah, he's like drunk all the time. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I'm excited to watch it. Like I said, I've only seen it once, and it was years ago. Yeah. But uh, um, overall, first class. Yeah, great movie. I, if we're giving it on a scale of the five to negative five, mm -hmm. or, or I want to say. I feel like it's better than a three, but not quite a four. So I, maybe like a three and a half, we'll give it. Yeah. If we do have. Oh, now we're going halves? That, if we can do halves, I'll do it. If not, I'll say four. <laughs> Ooh, there you go. Uh, yeah, I would say a three. I think a three is fair. Like, it's not the best, it's not the greatest, but it is really solid. Yeah, it's got some good characters. But um, I loved I I thought. One one other thing, I I thought it was great seeing the difference of Nazi Kevin Bacon, you know, in the forties. Yeah, you seeing him as like a like he progressed. I don't know, like perfectly to fit, you know, the times. Yeah. You know, he only, he obviously can't be a Nazi anymore. The only thing I didn't enjoy about Kevin Bacon being a Nazi in the beginning was when uh -huh. he was laughing and clapping and so happy when um, oh i know i thought that was great because it showed how crazy he is like yeah but it was too much it was too crazy because you would be a little aware that why didn't he just kill kevin bacon in that moment he killed those other two soldiers why didn't he do anything to kill kevin bacon that confused me um, well, because he wanted to encourage the mutant powers to come out. Like, that was pretty consistent throughout the movie where he didn't want to hurt any. We're all brothers. We're together. He didn't know He didn't know Kevin Bacon was a mutant at that time. At what point are you talking about? Okay, so, so Kevin Bacon has Magneto as a kid. And yeah. he's trying to figure out how to get him to use his powers. Yes. And he realizes... He needs to anger him. Mm -hmm. So he has the two soldiers bring in his mom. Yep. And then he shoots his mom. And then Magneto gets so angry that he starts, you know, destroying the place. And he kills the two soldiers that are there because they're wearing Magneto. metal helmets. Yeah, Magneto does. Yeah, and he crushes their heads, right? Yep. So it shows that he's not against killing. Why didn't he kill Kevin Bacon? Oh. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, he, Kevin Bacon's the one who shot his mom. Yeah. And there's definitely lots of metal around, obviously. Why didn't he just kill Kevin Bacon in yeah. that moment? No, I agree. I, like, I thought that was dumb, too. Why was Kevin Bacon so, like, confident that he was going to be fine? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, when he was laughing and so happy and, like, clapping and stuff, it was like, I know, yeah. you'd be, you would be aware. At least a little concerned. Yeah, that this kid's anger is going to be directed at you. 
Yeah. But, what do you think about him, it, Kevin Bacon, being the one to develop that helmet that Magneto eventually gets? I thought that was a cool uh, nod to the story. Yeah. You know, it, I like that. Like it, it makes sense. It justifies the use of the helmet. Justifies, you know, with it being able to block out the telepathy. I don't know if that's in ca- the canon or if it was just a design choice, you know? For the movie, yeah. But uh, I thought that I thought that was smart. Uh, I didn't like the whole "Can we shave your head? Don't touch my hair" line. I thought that was dumb. I didn't like. <laughs> um, there's another. There's like a. It was the professor Professor X stuff where it was nodding to his future, but he was yeah. against it, you know. And like to me, that's that's not really that funny. Um, you know what the I mean? The nods like, to the to Patrick Stewart or whatever. Yeah, like. There's no yeah, reason. Yeah, there was another one too where they made a, a comment about going bald. Yeah. I don't remember exactly it what was, it was, but. Oh, now you're a real professor. Next, I guess I'm going to go bald. Yeah, like, why, why Why is that? That is. You got a full head of hair, James a, McAvoy. Also, but why is that a. You're not going bald. Professors, like, professors are well known for all being bald. <laughs> like, that's not a thing. Like, oh, mm-hmm. great. Now the professor probably going to go bald. Like I, I don't know of any other professors that look like that. Like Professor X. Yeah, that's a very bald head. <laughs> uh, one final question here: yes. Why is it that that helmet? Why can that block out? I don't know. Like, if anything, it was it developed by the Russians? It... <laughs> okay, that doesn't solve anything. It was developed if, if... by the Russians. If you need that direct line to like the brain, like technically, couldn't you get there from the eyes? The Russians. You know, I I don't know. It was the Russians. I don't know why you need more than that. They interfere in everything. Hacking in there. But uh, that's why they have the, they have the the best anti hacking technology. Hacking. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but that's my thoughts. Well, thank you for sharing those. We all appreciate You're welcome. it. Um, we will be back next week with Days of Future Past. If you are uh, probably not though, since it's Christmas. Yeah, well, that's what I was getting at. If you're on Twitch, it won't be next week. But if you listen to the podcast, it should still be next. Week. But how? Because we have episodes saved up. So if we don't record one week, we still. Yeah, but it won't be Days of Future's Past. Do you know how time works? No, I guess I don't. <laughs> so we have like seven episodes banked. Right. We won't record next week. Correct. This episode Which... doesn't come out for two more months. So before that two months, we'll record Days of Future Past. That episode will come out the week after this episode comes out. Fine. You see? I get it now. <laughs> I thought we were talking to the live audience. No. If you're on Twitch, we won't be here next week. It'll probably be the week after or the week after that. It might be two weeks. Wow. Since it'll be New That's Year's. what I just said. <laughs> I'm just confirming because <laughs> you said it might be a week or it might it be might two be weeks. The, I'm saying it the next week probably or it might will be, be two weeks. The week after that. Uh, we'll be back at some point. Uh, with we'll see. <laughs> at, at this rate, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> it's done. We did a year. We're good. We're calling it. Got like 200 it. episodes. What more does anyone need? That's so many episodes for a year. That's crazy. Uh, but yeah, like us on uh, Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and then join our Discord. There should be a link somewhere down below. Come talk to us about movies, trailers, things that are coming out, and try to figure out who Taylor is on the server. Things that you hate about Alan. Whoa. Nobody hates anything. There is. Oh boy! Everyone, everyone appreciates me and my opinions, and how fair I am when I critique them. All right. Yeah. That's the end, everybody.